is Douglasville, Georgia a good place to live? Now you will probably hear other people that are gonna kind of sugarcoat this list and only give you the positives, but if you want the real deal, I'm gonna give that to you right now. I'm not gonna sugarcoat a thing and I'm gonna back it up by the stats, so let's dig right in. One of the great things that I do love about Douglasville is the location. It is a perfect location. So it is conveniently located to Atlanta, so you can get to Atlanta in about 30 minutes. Now granted, that does not count traffic, so if you've got any kind of job that's gonna have you there between eight and four, nine to five. No, traffic is gonna suck and it's gonna take you at least double that to get to Atlanta. But for a typical commute, if you need to hop to the airport or go up there, maybe you have a job that has some flex hours so you don't have to be there right at those times, then it's a perfect time and a perfect spot for you to get to Atlanta in 30 minutes. And Douglasville is located right off the interstate. So it's very convenient. There's actually two exits that get to I-20 in Douglasville. So no matter where you are in Douglasville, it's relatively easy to find an exit and to be able to get to I-20. And then you can book it on up there to Atlanta, going down to Alabama, wherever in between, but it's very convenient and that's so nice to have. Another thing that's great about Douglasville, it has a lot of culture and diversity. So if you look at the statistics, there are 63% of black Americans living there and 31% of white Americans. The rest of the numbers are a mix of different races. If you look at the Douglas County school systems, they do rank as number 11 in the state for most diverse school system in Georgia. So that is the good thing that your kids would get such a mix up. You would feel that mix up and get to experience all kinds of things if you do live in Douglasville. Number three, there are tons of activities to take part in. So you've got tons of things you can do right here in Douglasville, or if you want it even more, you can book it on down to Atlanta. So they've got sports leagues for both adults and children here. We have cultural arts centers that have all kinds of performing arts things for the kids and adults to partake in. Also, Douglasville is home to one of my favorite state parks, which is Sweetwater State Park. So Sweetwater State Park is located right there in Douglasville. It's a 2,500 acre park that you can take the trails and it'll go past some old burn down mills. It goes by some gorgeous rapids in the Sweetwater Creek, which is duh, how it got its name. But it's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous viewpoint there. There is a 215 acre lake there, so you can paddle boat, fish, get out there and canoe. Now there is no swimming allowed, so you cannot do that, but you can partake in the other activities there and just make a family day of it. Get out and enjoy the picnic and go get some exercise, enjoy all the beauty that it is there. And it is really shaded right there on the, on the creeks and the trails, so you don't have to worry about dying of a heat stroke here in Georgia. Okay, we also have Six Flags and Maybe it's just the adrenaline junkie in me, but I love this. It's just a couple exit downs from Douglasville, so it's very feasible for you to get a summer pass and go there, you know, multiple times a week or on the weekends to go take advantage of that. I may or may not have ridden Batman 17 times in a row without getting off. Now, of course, that was on a really slow day, and they let me stay on because there wasn't a whole lot of traffic getting on the ride, but I love that, and of course, my kids love it, you know, well, Colton's too young, but Elizabeth does. She loves it, loves getting out there, and it's just a fun place for the whole family to enjoy the summer. You know, Six Flags also does things for the holidays or the different seasons. So they have Fright Fest during Halloween, so you can go there. There's all kinds of like scary people dressed up in costumes. They try to jump out and scare you. That's fun, I've done that. They have the holiday in the park at Christmas time with the Christmas lights and things. So it's not just a summertime activity. You can take advantage of it all year, but it is so much fun and we really enjoy it. Now. One thing that Douglasville is missing that the counterparts Villarica and Carrollton do have is an amphitheater. So Carrollton and Villarica have amphitheaters and they do shows and concerts and all kinds of things like that. But Douglasville is getting one. It will just be spring of 2023 before they get one. So they're coming, they just don't have it yet. The next thing that I love about Douglasville is the convenience. Like you really don't get any more convenient than Douglasville. Even Atlanta is not as convenient because Atlanta is so big, it's hard to get to everything. But Douglasville has basically everything. It has the shopping mall, tons of shopping centers, basically any restaurant you could want, a movie theater, a bowling alley, like Anything you want and Douglasville has it. And if by some stretch you're wanting something like super extreme and you know Douglasville doesn't have it, again, hop down the road and go to Atlanta and you can easily take part in that. 
I also love Douglasville's hospital system. So Wellstar is the hospital that is there in Douglasville and they have a whole chain of hospitals throughout Atlanta area. And I really like this. And if you guys know, I have worked in the hospital system. Now I've never worked for Wellstar, I worked for Tanner. But Wellstar was like the place that I always wanted to go. They really take care of their employees. They offer awesome benefits. The whole country is trying to do this initiative for the past several years, this was before COVID though, of trying to get all the nurses to become registered nurses and really increase the level of care at hospitals. And Wellstar was way ahead of that. Like they only hire RNs and they're really proactive on trying to get them to complete their bachelor's degree and they offer tuition reimbursement for that. So I've always been really impressed with Wellstar and their policies and procedures and other things that they offer their employees. So that's definitely a plus for me. Speaking of employees, Douglasville offers tons of jobs for people. So they have several big businesses that are based out of Douglasville. So they've got Microsoft, Google, Stitch Fix, and Amazon. So all of those have locations there in Douglasville that pump out a ton of jobs that are really going to boost the economy. So not only those, but you've got the hospital that's pouring out medical and HR and all these different kinds of jobs. Plus all these other businesses and restaurants and shopping centers and things that are just really pumping the economy and that helps offer tons of jobs to the citizens of Douglasville. Speaking of supporting jobs, if you've liked this video so far, if you would go ahead and like it and subscribe, that really helps in the numbers and I would truly appreciate it. Next, it is much more affordable than Atlanta. So in Douglasville, you're looking at your average house price being about $350,000. And when you look at Douglasville as a whole, it is 5% cheaper to live in Douglasville than it is any of the other United States cities. But when you compare that to Atlanta, Douglasville is 9.5% cheaper to live there than it is in Atlanta. And the housing is more than 21% cheaper to live in Douglasville than Atlanta. That is insane. That is a huge difference. That's a huge benefit to living in Douglasville and proving my point of why not live in Douglasville, work in Atlanta so you get the best of worlds. You can make more money in Douglasville but leave more leave you can leave too but live more affordably here in Douglasville okay now we've gone over the good stuff let's go over some of the negatives so the first negative that I have property taxes are actually pretty expensive in Douglas County and I don't really know why I don't know why there's so much more so if you look Villarica is one of the cities that lies in Carroll County and Douglas County but the property taxes are insane so you can look at the same house and you're gonna pay a good bit more to live in Douglas County versus Carroll County and I've got several clients that love the Villarica area but they are opposed adamantly opposed to living in Douglas County because they don't want to have to pay those extra taxes so think about it if you're looking for your dream home and you've got a budget of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars the taxes are gonna make a huge difference on whether you can afford those and if you can get them for cheaper just a few feet down in Carroll County that's gonna save your monthly payment and that's gonna make that so much more affordable than having to pay those extra taxes and live in Douglas County. So that's a big one that I've seen a lot of my clients really have an issue with. Okay, now this next one is gonna ruffle a few feathers and that's okay, because like I said, I wanna tell you the truth. But my next comment are the schools. So you'll hear a lot of people that are praising the schools and they're talking about, oh, we've got STEM programs, we've got magnet status, and oh, we've got these great options at schools. But when you look at the numbers, the numbers don't lie. And Douglasville comes in at number 62 in the state for schools. Guys, that's pretty terrible. Like that is, that is not a good rating at all, especially when you look right down the line and you look at like Bremen City Schools, which ranks number five in the state. Or you look at Carrollton City Schools, which ranks number eight. Both of those two, you could easily get to Douglasville in 25 minutes easily. And there's that big of a difference. Like, that's huge. And if you look at any of the other counties, like the Herd, Cobb, any of those, they rank much higher than Douglasville. So Douglasville has some really terrible ratings as far as school systems go. Now, they did rank number 11, like I said earlier, for the diversity. But if you're looking at just the education part, it's a terrible rating. The next one is traffic. And now, I realize I'm probably a little biased here because I absolutely hate traffic and the only kind of traffic I'm okay with is like driving down the road not hitting a single red light and no cars cutting me off like I'm one of those people but to me the traffic in Douglasville is off the chain and you have traffic all the time unless you're trying to drive at like midnight 
or some crazy time like that. So even during like normal hours, like two or three o'clock in the afternoon, you're still gonna have traffic. But especially if you were driving during those working hours, like I was saying, the eight to four, nine to five types, then traffic is going to be terrible and it can be a nightmare. Now, some of you, I realize this may not be an issue. But like I said, for me, this is a really big deal because I hate getting in traffic and I don't like to get my anxiety up and my, st my stress levels through the roof. Uh, I'm not trying to do all that. And I even remember like back in high school, getting off the Douglasville exit to go to the mall and having to sit there through like 12 traffic lights just to get off. Okay, I may be exaggerating a little bit there. It probably didn't take 12 traffic lights, but to a high schooler that was ready to get to the mall, it felt like it. But it seriously was a big deal just to have to merge into the traffic and get turned and do all that stuff. So just keep that in mind to be strategic with the traffic. The next one, I thought this is another one that people kind of sugarcoat over, the crime. Douglasville has a pretty bad crime rating, so their crime rate is 2%. And now you're probably thinking, ooh, 2%, but no, it's the opposite of where that should be. The best is 100. So they're raked at two, so that means they are only safer than 2% of all US cities. That's not very good. That's a lot of crime that's going down. Now, I do feel like some of this is probably because of the interstate, because when police are pulling people over right there in the Douglasville area. It doesn't matter if they're from Tennessee or from wherever, they're getting pulled over in Douglas County, so it's counting on Douglas County's crime rate. So I feel like that does count for some of it, but there's also some local stuff too. So in spring of 2022, there was a stabbing at Alexander High School. Not only one person was hurt and they had to be sent to the hospital for treatment, but they ended up charging three teens that were local to the area and having to you know, put extra precautions in place at school because of this incident. So it is probably the interstate, but it's also some local stuff as well. However, if you look at this map, it shows you that parts of Douglasville area are pretty safe. So the darker the purple, that means the more unsafe it is. And you can see how most of it is right here in the more central areas. This is common with most of your cities, not just Douglasville. So most of your cities, you're gonna see an influx of the crime right there in the downtown areas. And then when you spread out, it gets lighter purple and it's more safe a little bit further out than you go. So I would just keep that in mind if you are looking and make sure you are getting into a place. The best advice is always to call the police station and get a, get a rundown from there. Next, there are also several flood areas in Douglasville. And in 2009, Douglasville actually made history for the worst flood. Like we got 18 inches of rain overnight. It was insane. Like I remember looking at the pictures of Six Flag just being underwater, like roller coasters. I mean, of course it didn't go all the way to the top, but parts of the roller coasters being underwater, it was really bad guys. Like it claimed eight lives because of the flooding there. So keep that in mind when you're looking, make sure where you're buying is not in a floodplain. And you may think, oh, I'm not really worried about that. You know, I can, I can deal with rain. But you wanna think about insurance. Flood insurance is a lot more expensive and you have to get it on top of regular insurance. So again, that can take your payment from being something that's very affordable to all of a sudden out of your budget just because of the flood insurance. So make sure you're keeping an eye on that. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this video where I talk about Villarica right down the road, but tons of different positives and negatives in it. As always, I'm your unicorn real estate agent helping you turn your home dreams into a reality.